Hey guys, Bob Black, Bob on Bass. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. Today we got something really cool to take a look at. This is a Sterling by Music Man short scale bass. Stick around. Okay, so I, I gotta say, right off the bat, I'm pretty impressed with this bass. And you know, I always say what I like and what I don't like about an instrument. Um, now, I just picked this up like five minutes before starting to shoot this video. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed. Let's talk about this a little bit. We got a satin neck on the back, as smooth as can be. It's no, it feels like just bare wood. I like it. Open gear tuners. Okay. It's a 30 inch scale. It weighs seven and a half pounds. We like that, don't we? It's got this, you know, regular Music Man style bridge. Ne Neodymium uh, pickup. Now, what really surprised me about this when I first picked it up, I thought that this was active, but as you can see, no battery, it's a completely passive instrument. It was surprising to me. And um, the feel of it is awesome. I mean, the string spacing feels the same as my USA Stingray. Um, I expected it to be, you know, a, a, a little closer, but it's not, it feels the same. Um, and, you know, people say that now, I, you know, I very rarely pick up a short scale bass. For one thing, my hands are pretty big. But anyway, um, people say, oh, well, the strings on the, on the short scale bass are, are floppy. And this, not at all. This, this feels just like my uh, full-size American Stingray. And um, some of the sounds, uh, let me turn this on. Now, once again, I apologize, I'm not going into the, you know, the sound is just coming from the camera. It's what it is, I'm on location here, so this is the best I can do for now. Anyway, you get the idea, you will get the idea. Anyway, the controls are somewhat strange. Okay, so that's, let's see, I turn the volume on, <coughs> excuse me. That's the sound. But now the, the volume knob is push, pull, pull is a, I don't know, you push it and it pops up and you get quite a volume boost. That's why I thought this is an active bass, but it isn't. Uh, it's just a volume boost. Really nice, really nice. Um, and now this knob here is a pickup selector. In, in other words, well, let's see, in position one, which is all the way towards the neck, is, um, well, that's your uh, parallel, okay? In the middle, single coil, you know, very, very slight bit of hum being single coil. And then all the way back to the third position is series. Interesting. So, <coughs> excuse me. I get the tone all the way up. This is the tone knob, the last knob. I got it all the way up, and we're in um, uh, we're in parallel. So. Uh, Sounds like it's a, a kind of like a low, mid, maybe lows and low, mid. Now let's put it in a single coil and do the same thing. Excuse me. A little thinner. 
but still nice. Leave this up and let's put it into series. <laughs> sound in there. Very punchy. All right, let's throw on some drums and let's uh, let's check this thing out and see what it sounds like. <laughs> So, 
it's nice. I wonder if I played this a lot, if I'd be able to go back to my full size, you know, long scale bass. It's really good, you know, and uh, I ha I'll have to give this five stars. That hasn't happened in a long while, okay? Well, yeah, mahogany body, maple neck. This is made in Indonesia. What's the price on this thing? $549.99, so $550. Yeah, I say it's absolutely worth it. If you're looking for a short scale bass, if you've got smaller hands, or if you just, you know, they used to say, you know, people with smaller hands would play the short scale bass, but like now they're the rage. A lot of guys recording with these now. Um, I gotta say, I am impressed with this. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on my channel today. Um, please hit like and subscribe. I enjoy doing these videos for you. I hope you enjoy them too. Um, sometimes, I, hopefully, they'll save you some time and some money when you're looking to buy an instrument. Or if you're learning to do something, I'm, you know, leave me some suggestions. I'm happy to do whatever you like. Anyway, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time.